Hey guys, Justin from Simplify Investing. I hope you guys are all having a great week. And this is our weekly watch this video behind the five stocks we are watching this week. First one, JPM. Second one, Google. Third one, CRM. Fourth one, FedEx. And then the fifth one, Meta. Hope you guys enjoy. And if you do, smash that like button. So getting things started, the first thing I'm going to be doing is breaking down forward slash ES, which you see right here. This is going to be the S&P 500 futures. It's going to be the E-mini S&P index futures. Break it down from longer time frame, shorter time frame, and then also break down the VIX and what I see on the VIX. So huge area here on forward slash ES from 4172 up into this 4186 region. You can see we attempted to break out here, false breakout in that bull trap here on Friday before this big move lower here off of econ data here from the consumer sentiment and then pulling back into this 4140 area support. As for the strongest level below here, that 41 region, 4100 region, a very strong support level. So you can see we test here, pull back holding, you can see this movement right up into this midway point here, pull back buying pressure. You can basically see we're channel bound here in between 4100 and essentially this 4180 region here. So if we get some selling pressure this week, watching this 4100 for an initial bounce move here with this 4140 area kind of being the midpoint between the two. So from a daily chart perspective, let's go in here. We looked like a false reversal or a breakdown here on 412, bullish engulfing almost here on 413, and then basically an inside bar day here on Friday. If we do break below this 4140, watching the short potential down into this 4100 region, if we do pull into 4100, eyeing a bounce move here in this particular region, this 4180 to 4200 area also key to keep on watch here. If we do break 4180, I do think we can test up into this 4200 area. You can see just how important of a level this was here. Back on 826, we also tested up here on 22 before selling off. So 4200, a macro level above here, also here on forward slash ES. The VIX, very interesting spot here and a very interesting point. We're at one cent off 52 week lows here and we've just been selling off tremendously here lately. This volatility coming here with the bank followed, I'm sure that all of you guys have seen. Now we're selling off here to 52 week lows, which makes it difficult to chart here. Below this, in this, what region is this? 1483 down into like 1475 area. Decent from a weekly chart here, but nice breakdown here on the VIX. Daily chart, nice sell off here. And if we do zoom into the hourly, you can see we're just in a free fall here. All spikes getting sold into here on the VIX. If we get a rally on the VIX, keys I would be watching are this 1801, 1852, 1905, and biggest macro level at 20. You can see just how many times we've broke 20. It wouldn't surprise me on an initial test to fail 20, see the market pull back here, or bounce from this pullback and then break and potential up into this 2030 region here. As for the first play of the week, it's going to be an earnings move and one that had very strong strength here off of earnings. You can see this move up here on JPM, testing this key 138.63 region. If we can hold this area here off of this gap up, I think we can have this continuation earnings move up into this 143.40 area. So you can see, Typically, once we break this region here, tests up into this 143.40 area, hold of 138.63, eyeing this one long after a very strong earnings follow through, trading a lot of volume as expected with earnings, and a nice continuation here after this fallout with FRC and so forth, causing this selling down here. The second play of the week, going to be one that was on our watch list last week. Nice movement here on Google. We're still trying to find direction over this 108.46 region. One thing I want to note, earnings on 425 after market, so not this coming week, but the following, will provide volatility into this particular name. But liking this one for a continuation move up into this 112.38 region here. You can see this bull flag type of move here or a cup move on the daily curling here. Two nice days of nice up uh, upside pressure here, not on the strongest volume I would like to see, but some volume here. Holds above 108.46, liking this move up into, again, I just mentioned this 112.38 zone above. The third play, one that's also been strong, and the key on CRM here is going to be this 192 area into like this 194.45 region. 
can see where we reject, 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 tried to hold as a support, false breakdown, now we're trying to reclaim. So what happens then is when you get all of these reject areas here, all these, uh, this false breakdown here, buyers will stop out. And what are they likely to do? They're likely to watch the reclaim of this level to become a buyer again for that move up here into this 200 region above. So if we hold this 194.20 basically to 192.48 region, I do think we can see a move up into that 200 area 52 week highs. Above that, have to zoom out into the weekly chart here, room up into this 208, 210 region above here. So with that being said, watching the hold here, watching the continuation move, potential up into that 200 area here on CRM. FedEx, interesting move and one that was on our watch list last week. Really not a climatic move here that we've had, but we are basing around this 230 region here. See from the hourly spike up here off the of news into a sideways consolidation base, a one hour bull flag. You can see the flag and then all this consolidation here. Watching this from a daily chart perspective to hold here, really want to see this curling over the, like this 23260 high here for that move up into this 240 zone above here. So hold of this, room up into that 240 region above. The last one, Meta, one that's been on our watch list since down here in this 180 region, played the 180 reject, and then now we get this spike up, hold here, and nice continuation move here to the upside. Earnings on 426, a lot of tech earnings that week, so that's not this coming week, but the following. Nice upside movement here. I think that 52 week high is just a natural price magnet up here in this 224.30 region. I want to see a nice continuation move here, hold of 220 on any pullback for that 224 region here and then zooming out from a weekly perspective that biggest region up here into like this 235 to 23750 region above here. So any hold uh, watching this continuation from a weekly chart form this flag here nice breakout here on 313 and now we're just forming these staggered highs here and continuation higher here as we see some buying pressure coming back into this ticker. So potential up into the 240 region here on this name. That being said, that wraps up our watch this video for the week. If you did enjoy this video, if you could please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. And if you are interested in checking out our team, feel free to check out our site at simplified-investing.com. We provide things like daily signals, course education, and mentoring to help you find your edge. Again, hope you guys enjoy and look forward to seeing you all on Monday. Thank you.